podcast section, whereby podcast hosts host other podcast hosts who only talk about what they talked about when they hosted the original podcast host on their podcast. Like with any new art form, it is exciting at first as people are pushing the boundaries of what we previously thought was possible. But at some point, we've seen it all. And with podcasts, this is truer than most, because the barriers to entry are so low and potential benefits so high that every social media personality and traditional celebrity have set up their own version. This angle is usually much nicer, forgive me, we've yet to put blinds on the window. The basic level all you have to do with podcasts, right, is sit down, set up some sort of just microphone, and then you're done. The cost of production can be effectively zero. The individuals who are speaking into these are able to build such a strong connection with their audience due to the elongated time that they are spending with them. I found recently with myself that there is effectively no podcasts that I listen to every single episode of. And I think some of the reasons is that it's like music, you know, you go through phases where you like a particular genre or a particular artist for a matter of days, weeks or months, and once that interest dies, you move on to the next. And some artists are just more timeless than others, where if they put out a new song and even if you haven't listened to them in a while, you're still going to check it out. You know, shows kind of like Hot Ones or Chicken Shop Date, where there is some sort of underlying B story there beyond just the speaker and the interviewee, where I may not usually listen to interviews with Gordon Ramsay, but if he's gonna be shoving hot chicken wings in his gob, I know it's going to be forever hilarious, so I'm gonna watch it regardless. But obviously these are barrier pushers. These are not gonna represent the vast majority of podcasts and interviews out there. And side note, surely after a thousand guests, Joe Rogan has absolutely nothing new to say at all. I mean, that's probably why he's moved into the misinformation, but. <laughs> and with lockdown hopefully done forever, does that mean a lot of these shows will just die off as people have less time to watch the ones that have become stale? And the only ones that remain are the ones that have innovated and found some sort of level of differentiation? And I mean, the same thing happened with vlogs years ago. No one wants to watch an unedited 20 minute video of someone going to the shops anymore. There's the reason you had the story focus of Nystat, the high paced entertainment of Dobrik, and the calm and relaxed nature of Chamberlain. The industry evolved and people that didn't keep up and innovate and have some clear factor that made them different got left behind. So at this point in time, that was not fun. <laughs> the only elongated interviews or discussions that I listen to are ones where they bring on some interesting guests that is revealing insights into some topic that I'm currently interested in. Shows like Colin and Samir Creator Support are an exception where they are talking about some topic that I'm interested in, not just now, but long term. You know, it's contemporary because there's something new that they can discuss each week. And it's by people that I like listening to, I like the thoughts and opinions of. And I mean, other relevant ones like this could be news broadcasters or it could be sports commentary because there is always something new each week to be discussed in a topic that you're not likely to lose interested in. If you like soccer, you're probably gonna like it this year as much as you'll like it next year. So unless you're doing something like this, it feels like something that can be very fickle and doesn't guarantee much long lasting viewership. But I mean, that's only my perception of the current podcastception space at the moment. That's why you start the discussion down in the comments section because I mean, I can only view this space so much. There's a reason that they had to cancel YouTube Rewind because it's impossible to encapsulate the entirety of the YouTube platform into a matter of a couple of minutes. So if you have the same view, great. If you have a different perspective on where you think potentially podcasts are heading, I also want to hear that as well. So just let me know down there and have a great rest of your day.